All right, I'm here with Coach John Saint-Ignan. Coach, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you? Anthony, good to hear from you again. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, even better because basketball season is in flow and uh, there are lots of new players, lots of new coaches out there or, or uh, old coaches with new players. And they're going to have players and there's going to be teams where there are players that think that they got the green light all the time. How do you manage that? And when do you give the player permission to have the green light? Well, you know, I think during the practice sessions, you know, it's, a, it's important. It's a psychological aspect of the game to give, to give confidence to your athletes, no matter what time of the year that is. Yeah. Um, and I think through my, my, uh, my progression as an athlete, as an athlete and now as a coach is to, is to keep on fostering that, that idea but there's got to be some tangible results. There's got to be something, a, a bar that's, that, uh, that's there for the athlete to reach. Uh-huh. And it's got to be done in front of their peers so that, so that there's, a, so there's a, a resounding effect of the green light um, and, and also of not achieving the green light. So yeah. Therefore, you know, the athlete doesn't feel they have the, the, the right to shoot the basketball when they didn't meet the, the criteria for it. Okay. So it's that player learning when is the appropriate time to take the shot. Well, you know, for me, what I what I'll do is the green light to me is the ability to to come down the floor, and if that player has the the feels that it's the that it's a good shot for them, then they then I want them to to feel that they can they can release that shot, and in today's game, most likely that shot is a three point shot. And um, so I, I heavily emphasize that being the the parameter for getting the green light. Um, you know, there's a, a 20 minutes on the clock, and uh, once a once a week, mm-hmm. and put the players together on that, and and you know, depending on how many baskets you have, is how many how many players you can do at one time, and you put 20 minutes on the clock. This is an in, an individual conditioner as well as as well as uh, as as well as a, bar- a barometer to, to look at and to see where they stand. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, it starts out nice and easy. You know, doing twenty micans underneath the basket, and then uh, they have to go around the world, okay, uh, yeah. which is on each of those pegs. And if they shoot the basketball and they make it, it can hit the floor. If they shoot the ball and they miss it, and they catch it. Before it hits the floor, they get to stay in the same place they were. Okay. If they do shoot it and miss it and it touches the floor, they must start restart all over again. Right. And so they must go around the world twice, and then they must pick one of the elbows and sh- make five in a row from there. Okay. After that, the rest of the time is theirs to make 90 three-point shots. And, you know, most, most athletes, it's around that 15-minute mark, and it's it is, you know, they, they start to realize that uh, wherever they shoot it from, can they go get it? Yep. You find out if they're in shape. You find out if uh, when the form goes away. You find out all about their discipline. Generally speaking, around the, when it's around 60 baskets, you know, it's, it becomes very difficult psychologically at that point. Yeah. And so then the athletes who do get over 90, they're entitled to shoot that to shoot that ball when they feel it's right. Okay. And uh, then amongst their peers in the timeout situations, they'll start to say, you know, hey, you know, boy, you know, you've got the green light. You know, it's, it's a confidence builder. And it's also a, a good thing for the other the other players to say, you know, you've earned it. You know, this is this is the time for you to, to believe in yourself. And now whether, that, whether or not that athlete decides, you know, take a three-point shot. Yeah psychological aspect of it is that the rest of his teammates and coaching staff believe in that athlete to shoot the ball and uh, and that they're going to do a uh, that they're going to have a better chance than than not when they do shoot it and so it, it ends up being just a psychologically great great thing for for athletes to, to see that and in today's game even with the nba athlete you know you see you'll hear story after story that they saw this athlete working and working, and it has it has its effect. Yeah. When when other athletes get to see 
boy, you know, they, they did it and I didn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's a, there's a chasing that goes on. It's great, especially when you have uh, two athletes at the same position and you get to see what they can do because it's equal. All things are equal. Yeah. You know, you shoot the ball, you make it, you don't make it, you got to go chase it down. And, and uh, it's, it's a conditioner and, and it's a, it's a great team building thing because uh, there'll be those big athletes, you know, who, who don't make it, they're not going to try it because yeah. that's not what they do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it ends up being really good, and point guards love it, you know, coaches love it, because then it gives them the ability to, to say who who can shoot it, confidence builder. And I've seen it over and over again, you know, even in a, in a timeout situation. You've got the green light shoot the ball yeah you know and and uh and they come out and they can uh, they have the support of their teammates even better and a great way to make the team compete and work against each other to get better yeah they're not just you know working against each other they're working against like this 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 uh objective goal of making these baskets it's not it's necessarily subjective as as it is the case where you know this coaching staff likes me and they're gonna put me in the game yes depending on what they feel is right for the role of the team but more more likely than not did you or did you not achieve this goal yeah for that day and uh, boy you know you start seeing players who may have made just 50 you know they they can't wait they want to do it again yeah and that's great because that's a hunger and a desire, and you want to see that over and over again. 